Hey, everybody. It's Mr. 95 Cents. We're here for Mr. 95 Cent Sport Card Adventures. Oh, what do we got today? Today, we're going to be opening the new Panini Crusade Baseball. Oh, it's a crusade to get my money. That's what it is. Eight packs per box, six cards per pack, 48 cards, but you can find one autograph per box on average. And I hear... I've seen it. I've actually seen somebody else open this, and it does look pr like pretty nice stuff. So we're going to do that later. we got all kinds of stuff to do today. Oh, geez. First thing we're going to do, we're going to shout out all our featured channels. Check them out. All our featured channels down below. we got a bunch, and a lot of great hours of uh, knowledge, entertainment, everything down here. I watch. I try to watch all at least all the long videos every week I try. I'm pretty much caught up, too. I'm doing good. Also, oh, also we got prizes. Okay. So, <clears throat> if you commented on the last video and you're a subscriber, you're now going to have a chance for one of these prizes. First out of the box today gets the 2021-22 MVP Hockey Pack. Second out of the box is going to get the Best in the World John Travaris insert. That's from OPG Platinum. Third out of the box from Metal Universe is going to get a net deposits Nathan McKinnon. And fourth out of the box is going to get a Shooter's Edge Wayne Gretzky from Upper Deck. All right, we got all that. If you hear a little banging, Paul, I think this might be his last day of construction here. And tomorrow we have the carpet guys coming in. So after that, I might be able to sleep in the morning a little bit. You never know. Sleep in a little bit. <laughs> It's been it's been nine weeks. Oh, a lot of stuff we did over here. Okay, let me mix her up. We'll hand mix it first. And then we'll shake it up. Okay. Good luck to everybody. We're going for the pack first. I'm going in. Okay, the pack is going to Andy's Attic. Andy's Attic. Ooh. I don't know if you guys remember, when he first came on the channel, I think he won like three times in a row, but he hasn't won lately, so Andy's Attic's got to win. Maybe it's another streak, you never know. We're going for the John Travaris. Here we go. All right. Make sure it's only one. Oop, oop. Here we go. Jolie. Jolie Farnham. I just saw Jolie last Monday. She'll be the, probably, hopefully at the next kitchen table. She And she likes John Tavares, too, I think. I keep say, hearing her say Tavares, Tavares, Tavares. I don't know. We got Nathan McKinnon. Here we go. Let's see. All right. Oh, I got to make sure I only got one. I got two here. Let's see. They're sticking. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, K. Muller, K. Muller, hey, an old friend. I don't know your address, uh, so I'll send you a message with my email. Uh, if you get, if you listen to this, my email is sportspg at aol.com. I have never changed it. <laughs> if you have an old business card, sportspg at aol.com. And if I don't hear from you, I'll send you a message because you just won. And, and I know who your favorite team is, so I got to send some extras. <laughs> we, uh, Mr. Muller used to work uh, with me years ago. Uh, we used to do sh little shows together. He used to run a show back in the day, I remember. Yeah. We're going for the... And he likes hockey. We got the Wayne Gretzky. Let's see. Who's getting the Wayne Gretzky? Oh, Jason VT Sport Guy. Jason VT Sport Guy. With the Gretzky. All right. And that's our four winners for this video. And at the end of the video here, I'll show you some prizes that you can win. And all you got to do is comment on this video. And I'm going to give them away on Saturday. All right. And you got to be a subscriber, too. Okay. We got warehouse finds. We got a lot of warehouse finds. Find that a lot of stuff. We got some hockey we found. So well, this is a nice one, too. These weren't easy to get because remember the pinnacle mint they had the coin in the card then they had what they called the team cards so this is a they had the bronze teams which are common but this is a brett hull silver team 
they were a lot harder to get. Yeah, they were sharp looking cards too. Put that over here. Oh, these were nice too back in the day. What year were these? I want to say 95. This is a 95 Ultra Padman. It's like a die cut. John Van Beesbrook. You see where it says Padman? That's die cut. And we also got one of those of Blaine Lotcher. Oh, these were pretty hard to get to. This was the uh, the 9798 Pacific Dynagon Copper Cards. And we got Van Bee's book again. That was a copper parallel. We also got a copper parallel of Yarmir Yager. Well, there's a whole packet of these. These are the 2005-2006 Upper Deck Diary of a Phenom Sidney Crosby cards. It's a whole series. I'm looking at the card numbers just to get an idea how many. I think there was a bunch. I'm up to, up, uh, my highest number so far is 16, but I think there was more than that. 21. You know, it was probably like a 25, 30 card thing. That's what I'm remembering. These were all, all Sidney Crosby's. Yeah. Put this over here. Put it back in the sleeve. Oh, look at this. Wow. This is a WWF gold card of the big show. All, uh, Encapsulated like in the plastic. Now well, we got some of those 75th anniversary tops cards. We got a uh, Dr. Kildare card. That was a big series back in the day. We got a slob sticker card, Stinky Sandy. Sort of like a spin off from Garbage Pail Kids, sort of. We got Flags of the World, and we got the United Nations. That set was put out in 1956, so it's, this set was nice. It's pretty much anything Topps put out. We got a Desert Storm. Okay, Who's at Star? This is a 1953 remake. Uh, this set was put out. In 1953, and that's Elizabeth Taylor. We got a Fabian set. He was big back in the 50s. And that's from uh, 1959, actually. That was when the set was made. These are, these are, this was a set put out in 2013. One of the best sets Tops ever put out, I think. And it had a card or two from every set that, I believe that Topps ever made. This one is a uh, Frankenstein Valent Valentine sticker. <laughs> they had some crazy stuff. This is a crazy card set from 1961. Every time you breathe, someone dies. Oh, I don't know. That's weird. And we got a funny Valentine. This was from 1959. Did those? I think I have originals of those someplace. I gotta find them. All right, basketball. We got a skybox, Glenn Robinson draft rookie. He was one of the number one guys back in the day. Does it say when he was drafted? Pick number one. He was the hot guy back in the day. Now you know who wants Glenn Robinson? Most nobody. That's the way it goes. Oh, these were nice. The Slamming Universe from Skybox. Nick Van Exel. They were nice cards. And we got a Latrell Sprewell. Slamming Universe. 
and a Reggie Miller. Got a Hoops Gold Mine, Spud Webb. Oh, we got some Kawhi Leonard. We got a Changing Stripes Kawhi Leonard. We got a Don Russ All Stars. A winning ticket. Got a bunch of Kawhi Leonard. We got a Hoops, NBA Hoops Dreams. Oh, this is nice. This is a Making History foil ascension card. And a Zero Gravity. Oh, we got more Space Jams. <laughs> I'm always finding find these Space Jam cards. Let's see. Well, hopefully we got some with Jordan this time. Got Bugs Bunny on this one. Oh, another Bugs Bunny. So we get trying to be terrible. Okay, there's Daffy Duck. I can't remember who these guys, a bunch of guys there. Oh, here we go. Jordan with Bugs. And we get the Jordan with the, the Monsters. I mean, it's always good to find a couple of Jordan uh, Jam Time cards. Oh, we got some Pokemons. Oh, boy. Fancy Pokemons. We got a Magnazone EX. A Snorlax GX. Yeah, some of the artwork on these cards is fantastic. Who is this one? Oh, I see. This one is a, uh, like a double legend card. It's Palkia and Dialga, Diagla. It's got both of them on there. Oh, I always like these. They got a little Japanese writing on them. But they're American cards. We got a, a Mega Septile EX. Oh, this was a hot card back in the day. Shame and EX. Oh, Paul's saying in something. I can hear it. <laughs> we got a Brox Grit. A Tornadus. A Pokemon Fan Club. We got a bunch of Pokemon today. A Hoopa EX. Oh, this is nice. It's a Wick Secret Rare. Yeah, that's a Secret Rare, right? Yeah. Pretty sure. Got a Tapu Lele GX. It amazes me how many Pokemons. They just keep coming up with names. They re rehash stuff, too, but... Sharpedo EX. They got a lot of Pokemons. And... We last of the Pokemon Rotom Dex. There we go. Oh, we got some football and we got a nice Prism Airborne Tua. Ooh, I, I don't think he's coming back. It's a shame. Not that I'm a, a Dolphin fan or nothing because you know I'm a Jet fan, but I don't like people getting injured. We got an optic, uh, it's like a re remake type of thing. Aaron Rodgers. Retro, remake, whatever they call it. I think they call it retro. We got a couple of Aaron We got a Men of Mastery from Mosaic, Aaron Rodgers. 
who stunk uh, the other day <laughs> in my check game, got outplayed by Bo Nix. I didn't even listen to him complain. He complained about the coaching. I don't know. Super Bowl legends, Aaron Rodgers. What are you going to do? You hope for better things, but the Jets, uh, I've been a Jet fan since 69. They just continue to disappoint. We got a draft touchdown, Kings Jalen Hurts. Oh, we got a nice road to the Super Bowl, Jalen Hurts from Don Russ. Got an old pro set MVP Super Bowl, Joe Montana. Got an 88 tops, Joe Montana. Got a 2005 Bowman Chrome Peyton Manning. Got a mosaic Patrick Mahomes. This is a legacy from 2023, new one. Patrick Mahomes. You got a contender's draft pick season ticket, Patrick Mahomes. You got a score game face, Patrick Mahomes. Bunch of Patrick Mahomes here. A prism draft pick. That's a nice one, Patrick Mahomes. And we got a score team, Patrick Mahomes. You know, right there to Derek Jeter. Got a nice gypsy queen, Derek Jeter. Now, this is nice. This is uh, the All-Star Game foil. 2020. All-Star Game foil, Derek Jeter. That's a nice card. And he tops uh, A.L. Rowling's Gold Glove Award, Derek Jeter. Got a, a top scrum numbers game, Derek Jeter. A vintage day at the park, Derek Jeter. This is a top 60 Derek Jeter. Found a bunch of Derek Jeters. This is a 98 uh, Pacific Paramount Derek Jeter. Oh, these were nice. The SPX. Uh, oh, I'm trying to remember. It was SPX. I can't remember what they called them, but it's a nice Derek Jeter. Finite, finite, that's it. It was escaping me for a minute. Tops uh, gold label, they were always nice cards. They're, that's an old gold label. So here, here we're going to have the old gold label on Jeter. And then we get that a newer style of Mattingly. They're both pretty nice, but I like the old one better. The old one's a thicker card, too. There's another, another Mattingly. There's a bunch of Mattingly's. And a 86 Donruss highlight, Mattingly. Got another one, different one. An 87 All-Star, Mattingly. See, I, I find a lot of Yankees because I, I stashed them. I sold some, but I stashed a bunch. So, because, you know, I'm a Yankee fan. We got a virtual reality from Stadium Club, Mattingly. You know, this is nice with the the way that, the hitting thing. Got an upper deck Don Mattingly. It's from '96. This is a newer one. This is a 2020 uh, Don Russ foil, blue, fo blue foil Don Mattingly. 
more Mattingly, one more. We got a Stadium Club Chrome, Don Mattingly. Fernando Tatis Bomb Squad. Got a new age performer, Fernando Tatis. This is a Bowman Chrome Prospect at Tatis. Is a Bowman Prospect of Fernando Tatis. Got a Topps Chrome Rookie Cup card of Fernando Tatis. A Optic Diamond Kings of Tatis. Got a Topps foil card. Rainbow foil, I guess they called it, right? There's a lot of Fernando Tatis here. One more. We got a Bowman trending for Fernando Tatis draft pick. Yeah, he was the biggest thing going. People always wanted him, but now nobody wants him. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. We got some 1973s to finish it off. Got a 1973 tops Bob Oliver. Now these are these are old now. How old are these now? Fifty-one years old. That's that's old. Yeah, that's old. We got a Bob Watson. Al Downing. He's the one that gave up the Hank Aaron's uh, record-breaking home run. He played for the Yankees. Came up with the Yankees. Got a Rick Wise. A Ron Reed. Ken Brett. Yeah. That's uh, George Brett's brother, right? I'm pretty sure. Got Ray Lamb. Jeff. Burroughs. Oop, Paul Sandlin again. <laughs> Joe Coleman. <clears throat> Jim Brewer. Got a Ken Henderson. A John Felsky. Now, this one, I know I put this away for myself. Hopefully, I got duplicates. But, uh, it's a boyhood photo of the stars, Bobby Mercer. You can't beat that. <laughs> As a kid, he looks like, uh, almost like Opie or something, right? That's crazy. All right, and that's our warehouse finds. Yeah, that's the warehouse find. Let me get a little swig of something. Oh, boy, okay. So we're going to go right to card shop stories. So this one I just got a question on the other day in the comments somewhere. And uh, somebody said, well, you had a great store. How come you didn't open a chain of stores? So I gave him an answer and it was a short answer, but I said I would talk more about it today. Why I didn't open more stores? Because uh, I... I came from a background of big retail chain stores. So I actually had that on my mind. You know, I, I said, geez, if I get one going, I should open another one. So, and I actually had two stores open for one year. So we, we started the actual sports page, you know, in, in a small store it was about 500 square feet total. Uh, and it was a slow start, but it got rolling. I was on the internet right away. And uh, this is back in see, 1994, 93, 94. So right away we were doing okay. You know, I had sold a pro previous business, so I had some financial backing a little bit from that money. Uh, but I didn't have a lot of stuff. <clears throat> but I... Once you have a store, you you quickly accumulate. So uh, 
the way it worked with having the two stores, we knew we were going to lose the store we were in after four or five years. Uh, I, actually, I actually was there as uh, six years total, but I knew like around four, year four or five that the landlord had other plans for the property and was going to eventually knock that building down. So <clears throat> I had a chance to get a store. Uh, basically two towns away uh it might have been a whole three miles four miles away from the original store but i said i gotta get a, another location because eventually this location won't be around so i opened another store <clears throat> by that time we had enough product to open another store because uh, i had a storage by then and uh so we still had we had two full stores going uh i hired a manager to run the new store actually. And uh, eventually I, I moved people over to the other one, but I said, well, let them run the big store for now, you know, cause that was a bigger store. It wasn't gigantic. It was about 750 square feet. So, but it was bigger than the other one. The other one was at the most 500. So it didn't work out. I mean, we eventually moved. So it worked out that way, but I went through three managers, uh, and all of them stole <laughs> time, money, or goods, or or multiple. It was terrible. Uh, none of them lasted more than a few months. Uh, you know what it is? I I didn't have anybody. They they weren't being watched by anything. I I, I learned a, a fast lesson in this business that if you want to be successful, you really got to be on top of it. You can't be an absentee owner. This stuff is too small and portable, and it's uh, people get addicted to it, uh, and they'll take stuff. I mean, especially if they have a store full of a lot of stuff that's. It's, it's it's weird the way people think, oh, he's got a lot of stuff. He won't miss this, you know. He won't miss that, you know. Before you know it, they're taking a little bit here, a little bit there. Before you know it, they're walking out with their pockets stuffed every day because I really didn't watch them, you know. Uh, a part-time employee would normally come and uh, take over for them, you know, at night. And at, when I closed this store in Marstown, then i go over there because that store was open a little later most of the nights. So... I found out right away after three managers I tried that you just can't do it, you know. And these people were all recommended. And some of them I knew for a while, but it just didn't work out, you know. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get into details, but, you know, the one guy stole time. He didn't do nothing. Uh, his, his job was... Uh, other than running the store, which back then the stores were slow, especially we had two very close. So the stores were slow, you know. Uh, I think at the time, one of the things was hot, like Beanie Babies or something. So that was paying the rent, you know. But uh, I think that that's how I opened that store on Beanie Baby money, I think. So, uh, yeah, because Beanie Babies were doing good for a while there. Uh, for a year or so, and uh, that's about when we did that. So, uh, one guy, he was, see, lucky, I knew the owner next door. The owner next door was actually, he's the judge in town, and I knew him very well. And he would tell me, the guy was outside smoking on the phone most of the time, because I didn't allow smoking in the store. So, he'd be outside, outside the door smoking and, and on the phone. You know, so I says, okay. And uh, his job, because it was kind of slow there, was to go through these big boxes and separate and start making our library over there. Uh, and in each store, we had a library of 400 count boxes full of a year and a brand and a whole wall. I mean, virtually, by the time we got to Randolph, the last store, we had... Oh, geez, it had to be a 60-foot wall at least full of stuff like that. Uh, so this guy, I'd walk in, and 
he'd have a bunch of boxes there with the years and stuff. So I didn't check them, you know, not in the beginning anyway, because I trusted him. And uh, it looked pretty good. It looked like he was getting a lot of progress there, you know. So one day I'm talking to uh, the guy next door, and he goes, you know, that guy you got working for you, He's outside most of the time, smoking and talking on the phone. He brings a chair out there, maybe like a little porch type of thing. I says, yeah. I said, because he's getting a bunch of work done. He goes, I don't know. He goes, he ain't doing much, I don't think. So I checked the boxes. And, you know, here he's got, oh, geez, like 60 boxes that he supposedly did in a matter of a month or two anyway. And then uh, all set year, you know. Uh, 96 tops, 98 tops, you know, stuff like that. I checked them. They're almost all empty. It was fake. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. It was fake. So I said, I got to get rid of this guy. He's terrible. So it was funny. He comes to me after he wasn't there that long, maybe three months. He goes, well, he goes, I hate to tell you, I got another offer. So I got to get a raise or something like that, he asked me. I got to get a raise or I'm, I am I got to leave. So I says, well, I'll tell you what. I says, when do you want to go? Because <laughs> I, knew, I knew by then he was stealing a lot of time. He wasn't doing nothing. So, oh, he goes, well, oh, I, I, I should give you a notice. I says, well, that's up to you. Yeah. So he gave me two weeks notice. I says, all right, whatever you want to do. So I went right to the calendar. I said, okay, there, there's your last day. Okay. And uh, I got somebody else lined up, and he left. <laughs> and he actually went to another place. Uh, told him, He got the job because he said he was the manager of the sports page. So, you know, that we were bit, pretty popular even back then. So uh, he didn't work out the other place either. So. <laughs> Was. What are you going to do? Uh, but I, the next guy I hired stole goods. I mean, so I don't want to get into it, but you can't do it in this business. It's terrible. I had a friend, and I'm going to mention any names because I think some of them listen to this channel. He went into a partnership with a couple other guys, but and he supplied mainly the wax because he's a big wax guy and he's got also got a big internet business he's got uh, he, he was an absentee owner well that didn't work out either after geez maybe a year that was it you know and he ended in a fight so it can't it's hard to do this business with partners and you got to be on top of everything. And that's why the sports page, I think, was successful. I lived there practically. I always said uh, to my people, I live in the store, but I go home to sleep. <laughs> so what are you going to do? But uh, And that's my card shop story. So that's the answer why I never opened again. After, after one year, so... Let me finish the story. So what happened was, after the third guy, my father says, I'll watch the store in Marstown. Only open it five days a week and then seven days a week at the other place. And that's how we drove everybody there. On the weekends, it was only Mars, Mars planes we were. And that's what we did. And it ended up, after the year, I was probably in Mars planes the last two months that we were you know, transitioning or whatever. And uh, by that two months, Mars Plains was doing double what Mars Town was. Because once I went there, everybody came over there, you know. So, and that's what happened. <laughs> if anybody asks, that's the story. All right, we're going to go right to the box break. This is brand new stuff. Now, uh, we'll see. I'm splurging a little bit here because this box goes for 50, 60 bucks. So, but they do give you an autograph. I hope I get somebody good. All right, so let's get our panini cutter here. And we'll open her up. 48 cards per box. Let's see what we get. I'm doing the big splurge. 50, 60 bucks on this deal. 
all I'm asking for is an autograph of somebody I know who they are. <laughs> That's not hopefully asking too much. All right, so we get a three compartment box, but there was only packs in the one compartment. So big box for basically what used to be in a blaster. All right, so let's see. They're, they're nice looking cards. We got a Dylan Cruz. So these are going to be a lot of prospects again. He's supposed to be a good prospect. Ty Floyd. Tink Kentz. Elian Soto. Drew Jones. Oh, this is nice. It's like a uh, foil Al K line. So, yeah, this is, uh, since they don't have the license, we're going to get mostly prospects and old-timers, but that's a nice Al K line. Send that to my buddy in Detroit. they will love that. Okay, next pack, Mick Abel. Gino Grover. We got a nice David Wells. I like that, Yankees. Charlie Soto. So that's like a maybe a gold one because the name's in gold. I'm not sure. Well, this is a nice a juggernaut. Ethan Salas. Oh, wow. This is not even nicer. So we got like a cracked ice. Uh, Kevin Parada. That's nice. Yeah, they're okay looking cards. The, the regular cards are okay. The foils are not, you know. The foils are nice. We got a Griff McGarry. Adam Dunn. <clears throat> Johan Santana. Got a Gary Carter. Oh, this is nice. Baseball royalty, Johnny Bench. And a Charlie Soto foil card. Hmm. Prism. It's a prism. Yep. Prism card. All right. Next pack. What do we got? We got a Daniel Espino. A Eddie Murray. Johnny Damon. Noah Schultz. Got a Ricky Tideman. That's a nice a prism uh, Joe Morgan. I wonder what kind of autograph I'm going to get. Probably a, a draft pick prospect. I don't know, but hopefully I'll know who it is. I'd rather get an old timer, tell you the truth. We got a Raleigh Fingers. Jeff Bagwell. Fred Lynn. Hanley Ramirez, okay, it comes uh, upside down. It might be the... No, it's not an autograph. That's good because I don't know who he is. Number to 99, purple, Alonzo Treadwell. And we got a Blake Mitchell prism. Got, what, three more packs left? So we got a numbered card anyway. I don't know who the guy is, but we'll see. We got Jimmy Rollins. Eric Gagne. Burt Blylevin. Oh, we got a nice Paul O'Neill card. We got a Juggernaut Jim Tomey. And we got a, a, a Prism Robbie Snelling. Next pack, Jason Jackson Job. Put these over here. We got a Rod Carew. Colin Houck. A Taj Bradley. 
a Squires Noah Schultz. We got a Colton Ledbetter Prism. And we got one pack left. And I guess our hopefully our autograph's gonna be in here. As long as we don't get screwed. Last pack. Got a Colton Ledbetter. A Matt Shaw. Okay, upside down. We did get an autograph. Jet Williams. Got a baseball royalty, Eddie Murray. A Prism, River Ryan. And an autograph. We got an apprentice signature, number to 99, of Andy Pages from the Dodgers. Hmm. He's steadily rise, uh, rising the ranks in the Los Angeles farm system. Pages is a stout slugger with a fluid right-handed swing. He launches deep fly balls to all fields with a slight uppercut and frequently blasts them completely out of the stadium. Ooh. He pulverizes pitches low in the zone and has a rep for coming through in the clutch. Well, hopefully he'll make it. You never know. <laughs> All right. What's my review on that stuff? Okay. Would have been a nice $30 blaster, but I don't know. 50, 60 bucks? Seems a little high, unless Andy Pages, uh, what's his name? Andy Pages does real good, we'll see. I got a couple of Yankees, but. I don't think I'd open it again. I don't know. It's it's okay. The the foil cards are nice, but you only get like one per pack. So, and that's our box break. All right. So, we're going to close because, oh, geez, we're over 42 minutes now. So, prizes. So, if you comment on this video on Saturday, you got a chance for these prizes. First out of the box is going to get the 2021 Topps Chrome Update Pack. Second out of the box we got a Diamond King Jersey King, Michael Brantley Jersey, for second out of the box. Third out of the box, where I found this, we got a 9293 Fleer XL Carlos Delgado minor league card. That's unusual. And fourth out of the box, we got a 92 Fleer team leader, Rafael Palmero. So all you got to do is comment on this video and be a subscriber, and on, oops, let me put this over here, and on uh, Saturday's video, you get a chance for those prizes, all right, we're going to close, don't forget our COMC, we got a lot of stuff on here, over 46,000 items, a lot of stuff under a dollar, we're Mr. 95 cents on there, also on eBay, Sports PG on eBay, over 17,000 items, with Geez, at least 40, 50 items starting at 95 cent auction every week. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody, for tuning in. I got to go back to work over here. But it's been a pleasure, and thanks a lot. We're going to close it up, but don't forget, collect what you like, because if it goes up or down, you still like it, and try not to buy a box for more than 120 because what we're getting out of this stuff ain't been worth it lately even 50, 60 bucks. So what are you going to do? All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. We'll see you later. Have a good one.